Welcome to this episode. My name is William. In this episode, I would like us to go ahead and uh, be able to create a search box here. And so we it will assist us to sort or in other words to filter the users. And so let us go right ahead and dive into it. The first thing I would like to do is uh, inside this customer's uh, component, I want to create the search box. So let us go ahead and do that. So I will open customers like uh, inside um, views, liveware, customer.plate. And then we can be able to go ahead and do some modifications on it. I want to just extend such that you'll be able to see exactly everything that you'll be doing. So now, uh, here we, as you can see, we have a button, which uh, is this button here. So I would like to, to have the search box in line with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a div with a class of row. close that div and then I can also have another div that you'll be able to sort of put the button inside a column so div class uh, column so call outer like that and then I'll close that and then now uh, I'll close the div for the column and then I'm going to create now the search box so inside here we are also going to have in fact I need to close two divs first two divs and then inside here I can be able to now create another div in this case with a class of a column outer like that And then I close this div that way and then inside here I want us to have an input sorry input type text and then class form control and then of course I want it to be a search box so you can have wire model so we bind the input and so what we are going to have is um wire model and then we are going to type in the name I'm going to call it search such like that but I also want it to be live so in this case it will be updating as a user types in but if we are to fetch the results for every time a user types in I think it will be a little bit constraining on the, the resources so what we are going to do we can add the bounds and what this means is that um, you'll be able to wait for the user to type until they finish typing and then it can be able to do the search so debounce and then we can pass in the time so the seconds that it you wait after the user has finished typing so we can have 150 milliseconds like that and i think that one is good enough um, i believe everything is good here so let us see how it looks nice so we have it like that i think it's good for me to add a placeholder so i will add a placeholder placeholder in this case we are going to have it as search users search customers like that and then we are going to close it like that 
so I think this one is perfect if we refresh is there a problem it's taking a while to load place hold I think should be fine I do not know why it's taking a long while to reload but we now need to go to the customers class as we wait for to see what it you tell us so you go to app livewire customers.php and inside here i would like us first of all to declare property that is called search so public search and you are going to set it to an empty string for now initially now we were using the mount method to be able to load our customers and i would like to just do a little bit of deviation from that because the mount hook is called once and so but unless you do a refresh you will not be able to have the update so what i'm going to do is to just um, comment it out and then I'm going to show you a different way in which you can be able to do it. So it's not a must that every single time you, you use the mount hook. So I would just like us to have the customers here. So maybe I can say uh, this customers. And then we are going to set them to customer to call the model customer all like that of course if you want to get a few things you can be able to use the get method and pass in whatever it is that you want to get in the array but in this case this one i'm just doing it like this in a nice way and of course if i refresh our page you will still find that everything is still being captured nicely so the values are still being shown so there's nothing wrong our application has not broken but now since we will be doing uh search of uh, these users then i would like us to just have an if function so i want us to check every single time when we are returning the users if um this property the search property is empty we can be able to show all customers if it is not empty then we can show the customers that have been searched so let us go ahead and do that so we can say if, and I can just do that, uh, and our variable is such. So if such, so if such is empty, then what we are going to do, we are going to show all customers. And that means it's sort of like maybe at the instance where the user has not begun doing the search. And then now we can handle the other uh, condition whereby now there is a search term that has been typed in. And here we just want to get the searched users. So what we are going to do, we are going to find the users like this. So I'm going to still set it in a similar fashion, these uh, customers. Will be equals to customer, and then where? And we are searching by name, so in this case, the name of the customers is what we'll be typing in, and then we can have like after that, we can have the operator that and concatenate with the search term. So this. Uh, search like that and then concatenate again the, the that value like that so and here I think what we, we will be refreshing is not search but this uh, search so that variable that we have up there okay and um, after that, of course, we now need to get the values. So in this case, I can say get like that and then close it that way. So this will actually be able to find for us the customers when 
we type in something inside the search box. So I would like us to just go ahead and see if whatever it is that we are doing has actually been uh, effected. And so what we are going to check is um, we are going to uh, go to our search box and see what happens if we type in something, if there are going to be changes. So here I'm going to type gems. Now you see we only have gems. And then if we just type J, we, we have also gems alone. If I delete everything and type something that is not there, you can see it's giving us nothing. And then when we delete everything still, it returns for us the initial users that we had. So basically, that is how to implement a simple uh, search box. Thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point.